Hi guys, welcome to my Minecraft world. It's been ages since I played last, around a year since playing vanilla Minecraft, but lately I've been getting back into it. This time around I wanted something a bit different while still being vanilla, so I went with a custom preset with some modifications of my own. The main point of this preset is to create rougher mountainous terrain. The other big change is I've customized ores to spawn at all height levels so that ordinary caving is a reasonable option compared to branch mining. Diamonds, redstone, etc. can spawn at any height level, which means that ordinary caving is much more interesting. I'm pretty eager to jump into it, so I'm going to get started now. I don't think recording my ocean travels would be that interesting, so I'm probably just going to show the highlights as I get started, and we'll see how it goes from there. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Looks like an excellent place for a farm here. Yeah, it's been several days, many days actually in real life since I've been recording the last. Many things have happened. But finally I found a place for a base. That's right over those hills. There's some desert mountains. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes. The only problem with this location is I want to use this. This nice little village that's on an island. I want to put a build here. Which means we're not going to want an ugly square farm here. Because the farm I'm thinking of is just would be like a 64 by 64 of magma blocks with minecarts, minecart hoppers running underneath. Pick up the loot. You know, pretty primitive but pretty effective, I would say. And just AFK and it's it's just a good starter farm. Don't know that I want to put it here. I mean, I could try to look, make it look like a gigantic witch hut or something, but yeah, that'd be pretty tough. Beautiful terrain, though. Do you see that swamp is super high raised up? And then this, all this dark water is also swamp biome? It looks pretty messed up because of the terrain presets we have. But I have been around, I have been in other swamps, and there's good ones that look like vanilla, so. Wouldn't be too concerned about that. We just see a hint of the desert mountain starting. But even though I have my render distance on 24, it's still not loading in. Just passing by that village on the way to my new base. I thought I'd capture some of this journey on camera. I find it quite a remarkable transition. On one side of the mountains you have this rift forest lush paradise. Well, I'm getting hit with some severe FPS drops. Come around this bay and land here. Terrain will just be completely different looking over here. Boom, desert mountains. You could imagine somehow if these mountains are thicker, like they're blocking the moisture clouds from coming over here, and so all the rain is coming down on that side of the mountain, the mountains. Realistically, they're, they're way too thin for that, but that's sort of what happens in real life. And this is the area I want for the base. I've got an idea for a Petra build. And I'll need a, a fairly large canyon for that. Oh, yeah, normal. Usually plan hard. I've already marked out an area I want to excavate. From this stone pillar to that stone pillar is about 75 blocks. We've got this a river biome. I think it's a river biome. Mm, yeah. The problem is it's going to rain in this river biome. I don't know if we want the canyon to come up this far. 
Because I was going to make a, a hundred block wide canyon. Or just wide enough so that on normal render distance. Most people run eight or so. Usually I run eight, but I'm running on 12 now. Just so you can see the other side of the canyon. We don't want that unloaded white space look. Obviously to dig out this much area, all the way to bedrock, by the way. You either need a massive TNT farm, or really just unbreaking or the, the diamond tools combined with haste beacons. To do that, it's going to be a lot of setup. To get back over to where we were just were, that village in the rift forest. Every time I have to go up here, I have to make some actual tunnels. You just come through here, it's a nice little valley. I'm really just loving the terrain on this map. What do we got in here? Jumping through this may not be the most riveting video. <laughs> I think I'd better cut here soon. This is actually the second spawner I found in the desert. So it's just coming from over here. I saw another village. Should be quite useful. The thing about Petra is it was a major trading center back in the day. What I want to do is set up set up some like trade networks and interconnectivity between various villages on the map. We already saw the village on the water. And an important aspect of that would be to, to have a sense of the villages being far, far away from each other while not actually having to travel thousands of blocks. Or in real life, thousands of miles. So that village is nicely placed on the other side of the mountain range. This village too. What I can do with these is just build them up. I don't have to like build them from scratch. I've done the city building thing before and it's pretty tough. They just start modest here for me anyway. I mean, compared to some series out there, they're just building huge towns and yeah. We do a little bit of that, but we don't want to jump full scale into having to build stuff from scratch completely. We'll just find some Minecraft villages and you can you can beef them up and renovate them to look better. Actually, I'm on the hunt for resources here. I don't have a single piece of coal. I'm running out of wood. Basically, the journey to get out here is taking most of my stuff up. Really need to restock. I'm having a tough time finding anything in these sandstone caves. Well, I got three pieces of steak left. I'm just gonna have to make some charcoal here, I guess. Chop some trees and make some charcoal and get back to it. Just wanted to show off this mountain ravine area. So the first area we came to on the server. I set up a bit of a base here already. And I believe this is a quadruple ravine actually. Still be some stuff here. Let's see, what do we got? Yeah, 30 iron. Basic starter stuff. So 
built a triple ravine or in a ravine. Here's a second ravine that was connected. It's lit up. There's a third ravine right here. Hostile. I thought they lit this up enough. But I think I'm not mistaken, there was another ravine attached to the over here. Yes, this is a distinct separate ravine. So this is the fourth ravine. And that over there is just a continuation of this. You can see. You can see it just bisects here. So quadruple ravine base. Quite interesting. Although Solemn, my friend, doesn't quite want to set up here because her base will be so far away, she thinks. I don't know about that because it's only 250 blocks in another. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm going to set up some portals and head back to the base. Alright, that's good enough. I found a cave over here which I'm trying to clear out. I met a surprising amount of resistance. I've been playing on a server that has some kind of artificial mod cap. So I'm not even used to seeing enemies when I go into a cave. Since I was getting so much of a fight, I thought I'd start recording it. And what do you know? There's no fight the moment I start recording. It's like that's it. Seriously. <laughs> where'd, where'd the fight go? Anyway, it was pretty tough because I've been... I changed my attack mouse button to the left control. To try to alleviate some tension on my mouse hand. That arm has been getting pretty tense lately. I've been having quite a few issues with it being so painful I can barely play. I thought that would be one way I could take the pressure off. Yeah, yeah, I decimated this cave already. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, here's a little bit more. Hey, what? That's hard mode. There's nothing down here, though. And yeah, I've been doing everything I can to try to make my uh, arm stop hurting while I'm playing. I got a new desk. Oh, I bet this is the, uh, spider spawner I found already. It's one of those exposed on the surface, guys. I've been changing up my desk. Changing up the way I sit. A little afraid I got some kind of carpal tunnel or something. Or maybe like overextended wrist, wrist syndrome. So there's a little tricky self-diagnosing. Diagnosing. <laughs> Not diagnosing. It's actually pretty tricky to fight now that my left hand has to handle all movement and attacking responsibilities. Oh, here's a contender. Oh, really? Actually, that's pretty troublesome. I can't get across this water. This water. But here's where the food, the new food system is just making the game ever easier. You just spam the stake down and then you're all good. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I might be eating my own words here. <laughs> ah, Civil War. Mobs. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't crazy. There's mobs down here. Ah.
Alright. What did we get here? A ravine. I didn't even realize it was a ravine looking for angle. Well. Damage is real. I'm having a hard time seeing anything with my uh, mop. My monitor is so reflective. I gotta close the curtains in here. There we go, that's better. Alright, I guess that's it. I don't think there's gonna be any more fighting in here. So I'll collect all the resources I can and get back to it. Mineshaft detected. came in over here by the way. I ran out of coal so I had to run down this cave. It's really in the dark. Still in the hunt for coal. Up there. Let's see if we're gonna get anything exciting in here. I don't know about this. Mm. Nothing really happened in here either. Can you do? It's on hard mode. Hmm. Oh, hello there. Hi. Why? <laughs> why can you not see me? What? Why can you not see me? Cave spider spawner, but it's already lit up by a random lava pot. Oh, hmm. Uh oh. Looks like I might be able to get a double out of this. First death incoming. No, not really. It should be okay now. Oh, here's another thing with the food system. Normally that poison would just take you down, but you just recover instantly with the steak. So the poison isn't as much of a threat. I'm kind of new to both 1.9 and 1.10. So I've been playing modded for modded 1.7 for many years now. Well, not many years, the last year. Uh oh. I do need a sword to handle that. Cool again. Hmm. All right, there we go.
guys, we got enough XP for a pair of enchants. Let's see what we get. Pushing C4. A work pick, that's good. And. Fortune 2. Alright, better than nothing. I think we'll call it a wrap here, guys. This episode, we got up to some diamond tools. I'm gonna go get some more quartz XP probably next episode. Like a efficiency shovel. That's pretty much it for the early game here. See you next time. And oh, by the way, guys, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to start asking. I just keep asking for likes the whole series. I don't, well, I don't know how to do that exactly. It's like a somewhat controversial topic. It used to be heavily frowned upon, but now it seems to be rather essential. Because the likes determine your your search algorithm. Uh, placement. As well as factors like uh, how long you watched the episode and such and such. So if you did enjoy the episode, please do leave a like. It would help me out. Alright, until next time, goodbye.